Hey, what's going on, people, and welcome back to another video. TTK or time to kill might be one of the most underrated aspects of weapons in any FPS game. Sometimes people kind of assume a weapon can kill the enemy like faster, and sometimes they might be right. But I've seen a lot of you guys doing this completely wrong. Like, if I ask you what SMG in Battlefield 2042 can like kill someone faster, you might give me the wrong answer of PP29, for example. Well, the truth is just a bit different. So that's where the video idea came from. I wanted to give you the accurate stats so you can pick the fastest killing SMG in the game. I might as well do this for assault rifles and LMGs if you guys like this video. So if you want to see those videos done in future for other weapon categories, make sure to comment down below and let me know that. All right, so we have nine SMGs in 2042. And what we're going to do today is determining the fastest TTK a weapon can have with the optimized ammo and barrel options. And we're going to rank them. And in the end, I'll give you the setup you need to get that maximum TTK out of that weapon. And we're going to start from the slowest TTK weapon all the way to the fastest TTK. We're going to have a tier list for them. So don't worry about it. I'm going to share it with you all in the end of the video. So you can have a general look. You can basically compare them with each other and all that kind of stuff. So it actually gets more interesting towards the end of the video, where things get a bit closer. Also, because people tend to use SMGs mostly in under 30 meters, that's going to be the target range to analyze these weapons. So starting off with the slowest TTK SMG, which means it takes the longest to kill an enemy under 30 meters, the MP9. Now, we all know that MP9 isn't the best out there, but when it comes to TTK, it's actually the worst. It has a TTK of 270 milliseconds with both close combat and standard issue rounds. So no matter which one you use, the TTK stays the same. However, this really doesn't mean that you shouldn't be playing with the MP9. I still think this weapon is so underrated. You don't come across a lot of people playing it and the TTK might be the main reason. You know, you kind of understand which weapon has more damage and which one can you get a kill with faster. And because of that, despite many players not knowing these numbers, they tend to avoid playing it. My suggestion, give it a go yourself. It really shocks you how good of a weapon this is. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to regret this. Now for the setup, as I mentioned before, standard issue and close combat ammo have the same TTK. But you have a drum mag when it comes to close combat rounds. So go for close combat drum, then close combat extended, and then standard issue extended. For barrel, I prefer a wrap suppressor. Then put on an MGL laser sight for more hipfire accuracy. And then the weapon sight, which is your own choice. So here's the setup for the MP9. Next up, we don't just have one weapon, but we have four weapons actually. So four weapons in C tier. What I mean by that is the best TTK that you can get from these four weapons in under 30 meters is exactly the same. And it is 267 milliseconds. These four weapons are SCZ3, P90, AKS-74U, and PP-2000. For you guys to have a clear idea of how small the difference is between the MP9 and these four weapons, it is 0.003 seconds, which is literally, in a game like Battlefield or probably any shooting game, nothing. It really means nothing. But since we're doing some accurate numerical stuff, and for the sake of the ranking chart, these guns are labeled as quote-unquote faster TTK than MP9. Now, it is really sad to see the vault weapons being an absolute copy of each other when it comes to TTK. This means that DICE has put in the literal minimum effort when bringing these weapons from Portal to the main game. But the last SMG, the SCZ-3, has also the same TTK as the vault SMGs. Anyway, let's take a look at the setup for each one of these four weapons. I'm going to start with the SCZ-3. So for this weapon, standard issue has the fastest TTK, which simply means you got to use standard issue drum, then standard issue extended, and then standard issue. I like to use the wrap suppressor with an SDNR laser sight and a simple red dot sight. Here's how the setup should look like. For P90, you don't really have a lot of choices. I'd go for the LS1 laser sight just for some more fire accuracy and then a wrap suppressor. You don't have a choice for ammo and this is the best setup you can get. For AKS-74U, I still want to have the Rat Suppressor, basically. This is the only weapon category that I use suppressors on. And then you need another one laser sight. For ammo, just like other vault weapons, you don't get to choose, so use everything you have available. And the setup is complete, looking like this. And finally, for PP-2000, I'd use the Rat Suppressor. You don't have any other attachments for under barrel or ammo. So use what you can, and here's the setup. That's unfortunate that we don't really get a lot of attachments for the vault weapons, but 
it is what it is and we really can't do anything about it before we go to b tier if you guys enjoy the content and if you think it's informative make sure to hit the like button so others can see the video as well and learn a thing or two and if you want more videos like this make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on the future videos now moving on to b tier we also have two weapons instead of one k30 and pp29 now these weapons are literally two most popular smgs in the game and as you can see when it comes to ttk they are in b tier the TTK of these weapons is 245 milliseconds. As you can see, the gap between the SMGs starts here. So D and C tier SMGs were close, but here we have a big difference. Now, why people prefer the PP29 when it just isn't the best killing machine? Well, that 60 rounds per mag is definitely effective and the recoil pattern plays a big role as well. Anyway, let's take a look at the setup for each one. For PP29, the fastest TTK is provided by the standard issue rounds. So standard issue should be your priority when choosing ammo type. High power and subsonic are exactly the same when it comes to TTK and under 30 meters, but for longer ranges, the high power is superior. So high power goes into the second slot and then subsonic for the third slot. Rap suppressor is again my go-to barrel here. No choices for under barrel and this is the setup for maximum TTK. Now for K30, Again, the fastest CTK is provided by the standard issue rounds. So standard issue drum, standard issue extended, and then high power should be the best for this weapon. Wrap suppressor, MGL laser sight, and any red dot of choice should do the trick here for the K30. And here's the final setup. Moving on to A tier, we've got the almighty successor of the UMP45, the PBX45. I gotta say, I had to use mathematics to determine the average CTK of this weapon in under 30 meters because the numbers were different in every 10 meters. The average CTK was 244.6 milliseconds. As you can see, the difference between A tier and B tier is more like a joke. 0 0.0004 seconds. That's how better the PBX45 is. It's just crazy, but that's the difference between two tiers. Anyway, let me break this down so you can see how this number was achieved. From 0 to 9 meters, the TTK is 200 milliseconds. Then from 10 to 29, the TTK is 267 milliseconds. So we have 30 meters total divided into three parts, each part with a specific TTK and representing 10 meters. The average TTK here is 244.6 milliseconds. Now setting math aside, Let's take a look at the setup for the PBX. For the PBX, you need to use the close combat ammo to get the fastest TTK. So close combat extended, then standard issue extended, and then subsonic should do the trick. Wrap suppressor, MGL laser sight, and then your A tier PBX 45 is ready to kick some butt. And finally, the S tier SMG, which has the fastest TTK in Battlefield 2042, is the AC9. The average TTK is 241 milliseconds, and again, it took me some math to achieve this number. From 0 to 19 meters, the TTK is 223 milliseconds, and from 20 to 30 meters, it's 278 milliseconds. So a total of 30 meters divided into three parts, each of them being 10 meters with a specific TTK number, and the average of the three is 241 milliseconds. AC9, in my opinion, is the best SMG, even not considering the TTK, the consistency you can have with this weapon, and on the other hand, decent recoil paired with a rate of fire more than 1000 RPM makes this thing a top tier killing machine. For the setup, close combat ammo is the way to go. So close combat extended, then close combat, and then subsonic, because subsonic is slightly faster than standard issue when it comes to TTK. STNR laser sight and wrap suppressor as usual, and a red dot sight should suffice. With that said, the setup should look like this. And now to wrap things up, here's the tiered list for every SMG in Battlefield 2042 based on TTK and under 30 meters. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope this can help you choose the gun that suits your playstyle. If you have any questions about the weapons or just any questions in general, do make sure to comment down below. I'll do my best to answer you as accurately as possible. And also there are other guys here who are pretty much informed about the weapons in 2042. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay cool.